All right, moving on to uh, Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern on TNT in Pittsburgh. We have Oregon and South Carolina. Oregon, the surprise team from the Pac-12 after winning the Pac-12 championship. South Carolina won one-and-a-half point favorite here. Over under 133-and-a-half. Uh, I know, Randall, you're probably going to be banging the drum for your Gamecocks as you always do, I might provide a counter to you, uh, although I haven't bet this game yet, but uh, make a case for your Cox. 23 and 10 against the spread. And I understand why people don't like to bet South Carolina because they were supposed to be so brutal at the beginning of the year. They play at an extremely slow pace, 354th in the country per Ken Palm, a la Virginia. Those type of teams are not going to draw a tremendous amount of public support, but they are great on defense. They don't turn the ball over. The offensive of rebounding is relentless. And this team battled the best teams in the SEC. They won at Tennessee. They won away at Arkansas early in the year when Arkansas was actually decent. Late in the year, won at Mississippi, won at our Texas A&M team that we always liked. And then they struggled against Auburn, who went away and hid. Oregon is not that type of team. Yes, Dana Altman's great against the spread in the tournament. I know that. But this Lamont Paris team has proven everyone wrong all year, and they continue to do so. Great on the boards. They just need to be able to make some shots. I need good Michi Johnson in this game. And the line is now South Carolina favored by one and a half. Oregon, no one was on them. They got on a fantastic run in the Pac-12 tournament. Dante inside. But I think the physicality of the defense, the position, the execution, and the slow game favor South Carolina. Yes, Stuck, I will continue with the Gamecocks to continue to roll on here. A team that I just don't think gets respect and can actually win a couple games gets that second weekend. Yeah. I'll to play devil's advocate. Cause I'm, I'm leaning Oregon right now. Vance. I'm not sure if I'll bet it, but uh, I'm not sure that South Carolina is anyone who could slow down Dante and Oregon. I just like Dana Altman is a fantastic tournament coach. At Oregon, he's 7-0 in the first round with an average seed of 7.1. He's 15-6-1 against the spread in the tournament. 9-3 against the spread as an underdog. 11-2-1 against the spread with three or more days to prepare in the NCAA tournament. He's going to mix up his defenses. He's I assume he's going to throw a lot of zone at South Carolina. South Carolina does grade out well against zone, but they didn't see it often. And they mainly saw it against Missouri and Elon, uh, not necessarily known for their defensive prowess. So I I think I think as of now, I might trust Altman and his changing defenses and Dante inside to get this done. I will go to Calabrese just to break the tie. You know, maybe not for a bet, but for people who are conflicted. On their bracket, you don't even have to give reasoning. Who are you taking? I'm just going to go with Altman. I mean, you, you bring up the numbers, you bring up his coaching acumen. It's not roster dependent. It's not matchup dependent. It's him. If he shows up in March, he puts together a great game plan and they execute it. They have the best player on the floor. I love what South Carolina has done this year. I love what Lamont's done. I think he deserves all of his flowers. But at the end of the day, I think he squeezed the most out of this roster already. And I think this is not a good matchup to pick up a, an Oregon team that is getting hot at the right time. I still think their ceiling is even higher, where I feel like I know what I'm getting with South Carolina. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Ducks. By the way, just to speak to some of the seeding here, you have a, the 11 seeds are who, and the 11 seeds since 2010 have a winning record, by the way, 27 and 25. Um, over the past 52 matchups between six and 11s. But you have an 11, a couple, uh, Oregon could close the favorite. We'll see. So you could have a couple 11s that are favored over sixes. 